All right, so we are starting out with a completely empty directory here. And the first thing that we're gonna do is get Silex installed, get a basic structure set up that will uh, not only serve us now, but into the future if we need to add anything. And then of course, uh, we'll move on. So the first thing to do is go ahead and install Silex. I'll leave a link to the documentation in the course link section if you need to come over here. Uh, but we very easily can just pull this in using Composer. So let's come over and inside of the directory we're working in, do a composer require on Silex slash Silex and go ahead and wait for this to finish. Okay, so that's done. Now for a fairly small project like this, I still kind of break this up just in case, uh, like I said, I need to add anything to it. So I usually create a public folder in here just for any public assets. We'll be moving all of our cat images over to this folder as well later. But the first thing I do inside of here is just create an index.php file. This will just be the kind of landing point of our application. So what we need to do now is just come over and create some kind of bootstrap folder where uh, we need to bootstrap anything up that our app needs. And in our case, we're just gonna have a very simple app.php file. Now this will be responsible for just pulling in our vendor autoload file. So let's go ahead and require in dir and let's go back into the vendor folder and then go ahead and pull in autoload.php. So we'll go ahead and set our app up in here in a minute. But for now, over on index, we want to require this bootstrap file in. And then from within here, we can go ahead and run our app. So very, very simple structure, uh, but it's pretty effective to work with a small project. So we want to go into the bootstrap directory requiring app.php and we're pretty much done. Down here, we'll run our app in just a moment. But of course, we need to get everything else set up in here as well. Okay, so let's create an app variable just here. And to pull in Silex, or at least boot Silex up, we just go ahead and new up a application class as part of Silex. And what I'm also gonna do for the purpose of this is just turn debugging on, just so if we come across any errors, uh, we get that output and we can fix anything up. So now that we've done this, we over on our index.php file, because we've required uh, this bootstrap file in, very simply, we can just run our app. Now in between this, we need to include our roots. So again, I usually create a folder for this and uh, depending on what I'm doing, I just break these up. So in this case, I'm gonna create a web.php file. Uh, if I had any API roots, I'd maybe create an API file. Again, you can structure this really however you want. So now that we have that over in our bootstrap file, we can very easily require this in. So let's go ahead and pull this file in so it's in there so again we go back a directory we go into roots and we require web.php in and we can set up a very simple route in just a moment for now what i want to do is just create an ht access file in here just so if we do create our roots uh, we don't run into any problems now i already have this created so i'm going to go ahead and pull it over it's pretty much from the Silex documentation, and I'm working with Apache. If you're working with Nginx, this will be slightly different, uh, but uh, shouldn't be too bad. So now that we have this done, let's get rid of that, and we should be good to go. So we can come over to here. We obviously know that the entry point is public, and looks like we've got a little error here in our bootstrap file on line three. So let's just head over to this, and of course, I didn't concatenate this properly. Perfect. So give that a refresh and there we go. So we obviously see this error because we don't have a route for the home page, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, we don't need to worry about that just yet. So let's look at uh, just auto loading everything in. Then we'll go ahead and create a very simple route just to test this out. And then of course, we'll move on to making this all work. So we're gonna have an app folder because we're gonna be registering a Silex service provider, which we're gonna to need to auto load from somewhere, from some kind of class. So I'm gonna create an app directory in here, and then I'm gonna update my composer.json file to auto load files from here using the PSR4 standard. So all we do is give our app a root namespace. In this case, I'm just gonna call it app, but of course, what you could do is give it a name of whatever project it is. In this case, it'd probably be placecat and then we tell Composer where we're loading them files from, and in this case, it's app. So now that we've done that, we just need to do a Composer dump auto load. So uh, that's all registered in there, and we are pretty much good to go. So uh, that's just very, very simple. Okay, so let's create a really simple route just to test this out. It's very, very simple because we have app in scope here. We can just say get forward slash 
we can go ahead and create a closure in here. We can use controllers, but for this, it's going to be very simple. So we're only going to define out one route. And in here, we can just return a response maybe. So what I'm going to do is pull in uh, the response object so we can actually return that. We are going to be using that later. So uh, it's worth pulling it in now anyway. So let's go ahead and use Symphony. And this is under component and it's under HTTP foundation. And we also have a request. So I'm going to pull that in as well. And why don't we go ahead and pull in our response too. So I'm going to use the PHP 7 update to pulling in things like so, just so we don't have to duplicate this down onto a new line. So I really like this. So let's just return a response in here. Let's go ahead and give null a 200 status code and we should see something in the browser. So what we could do, in fact, if we just uh, fix that up is just return home just to kind of see something on the page at least, give that a refresh and we see home. So that is our basic application set up and ready to go. The source code for this, all of this as its plain form will be in the course downloads if you don't want to go ahead and get this set up or you already know how to get a uh, Silex application set up. So you can go ahead and grab that if you're having any problems uh, setting up this base application. Uh, the only thing I want to kind of do is just pull in my request here so we have anything from the request that we can use. And uh, we also have things like our Silex app as well. So what we can do is just go ahead and say Silex application. This will give us an app instance that we can use to access anything out of the container. And that is pretty much it. So uh, if we just go ahead and make sure we didn't break anything, looks good. And we can kind of use this when we set up our root for our width and our height, which will again later return an image. Either way, that is pretty much a basic Silex app setup and we're ready to move on.